I would like to open this AMA and um, welcome to everyone. It's the first America's Friendly AMA and I'm very excited for that. And that also means that Dave is on. Welcome, Dave. Hello. It's good and to be here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's good to have you uh, in, a, in a time that's actually not five in the morning for you. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and sneak into a couple, but no guarantees. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be good. And of course, um, LB is here. Welcome, LB. Hello. Good to be here, as always. Definitely. Um, well, then, let's just dive right into that. Into it. Since there are only four questions, I would. I haven't categorized them. I've just. Uh, I just have them. Yeah. Um, there's CG uh, eighty two. And they ask, uh, where does the MIM for the great MIM LP come from? What a grape or wine uh, sells something else? I, I do suppose they mean the, the, the MIM for the great MIM LP that comes from the, from the raffle, but I'm not exactly sure, of course. <laughs> Yeah, from the I, yeah, I guess that would make sense because otherwise, you know, it's it's coming from you. If you add an exactly. LP, you'd have to put the mim up yourself. Uh, but for the raffle, it comes from the the DAO's the DAO wallets reserves, which has been built up over time, um, slowly selling because the the DAO gets, I think, fifteen percent of the the daily emissions of grape. Um, so eighty percent of the daily grape expansion goes to the boardroom i mean the winery um people stake there and then 15 percent goes to the dow wallet and five percent goes to the dev wallet and so the the dow has been slowly selling some portion of wine i mean not wine uh grape that grape emission um over the last you know since we've launched basically but it hasn't been selling it's been following the strategy so basically it hasn't been selling in the last couple of weeks since we've gone under the there's uh two twap but um it has built up a reserve of say you know about seventy thousand mim in that time and so that's where the mim comes from for that and also for marketing and uh promotions and and things like that awesome that's a very informative answer um i suppose that's answered and then we'll move on towards Saint, um, he says, it could probably be answered fair, uh, fairly quickly. First off, thank you for the great pool, boo, great pool boost based on some community <laughs> member input. Great idea, awesome action. Thoughts on how long the boost will last? Um, I don't have a timeline to... Um, I, the great pool will, will stay around, like it's been around for a little while. Um, so I'm not going to just get rid of it. But uh, in terms of the boost, I think I'm just going to keep it for the time being uh, to help because we're in this in this zone now of under two TWAP. And so we want to sort of you know stabilize uh, in this in this point now. So so the the grape single stake is a great way to do that. Um, so I'm going to keep the boost uh, as long as we're in this in this zone. Um, if we go above two and we stay above for a little while then i may drop the uh the boost a little bit um but uh, i think we're, we're kind of reasonably balanced across all the farms now as well and the the winery so i think um i mean i do tweak the 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 allocations here and there uh depending on the tvls of the pool depending on the wine price and i can see the aprs and, and whatnot so uh, I am limited to how much I can tweak it, obviously, uh, because there's a set amount of wine that goes to the pools every day and that, that needs to be divided across all the pools. Um, but the, the grape single stake is, is kind of important at this stage. So, so that's why we did boost it and we'll keep it boosted for the foreseeable future, really. Yeah, awesome. Because it, it really does something good for the protocol. Uh, you, we do. Yeah. We have seen that grape has stabilized, uh, mm. and that will most definitely also be partly because of that. I'm sorry. I yeah, yeah. Turn down. 
this. All right. Awesome. And uh, I, I think it's great news that uh, the boost is going to stay on. Uh, I really love that personally. So uh, <laughs> great. It's, it's nice great and easy. Too. Yeah. Definitely. So, uh, as I said earlier in the chat, it's a great way to just park your grape. If you don't know what to yeah, do with yeah. it yet, you just park it there. And then at some later point, you'll add mim when you have it or um, you add yeah, wine yeah. when you've... Um, uh, uh, take, taken some out of the winery, for example. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I have to remove a cat. <laughs> 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 and let's move on. Um, we have a question question from Bim Badaboom, which is an awesome name, by the way. Um, <laughs> I have everything in LP Grape Min. Should I instead go full grape in the grape pool? And the same question for the Genesis pool on platinum and finance. Well, uh, I'm gonna leave that a second part because um, uh, that's done. Um, and I know this is actually a strategy question and it was actually answered in that way uh, by some of our Git members, um, but maybe uh, the answer might be answered into um, in what's actually good for the protocol. So having a lot of great MIM or having a lot of great Maybe you can elaborate on that. Um, yeah, well, it, you'd want to follow the strategy, I guess, and also depending on the the T web where we are now on the two, um, the great min pool is probably a good pool to be in, or good pool to enter at this period now because we are closer to. Uh, you know, the, the, the one-to-one -one peg, which means that you'll have less chance of impermanent loss. Um, so it is a good time to enter that, but uh, you do want to spread around, I guess, as well. Um, and oh. on the, I mean, the APRs, I guess, on the grape min pool are a little bit less than the grape single stake pool. But that's obviously because of the the TBL is you know I think five six times more in the great mean pool, um, so you probably don't want to you know break your LP um, because that doesn't help the protocol in the best way because we do want that liquidity in the pool um, in the pair um, to help stabilize the price anyway. Um, yeah. But yes, if you do because you'll be earning wine from that pool. So you can go then and stake the wine in the winery uh, and then you can earn grape from that wine, which then you can stake, single stake that grape and you can continue that loop um, as, a, as part of a reasonably decent strategy at this time. Yeah, definitely. And that was actually what I was getting at um, because we, we, we want to have a lot of grape meme as well because that mm. will keep the price fairly stable because the more great the, the larger this pool of great mim is the less the price will fluctuate with buys and sells uh, mm. whereas if we have a lot of single state grape uh, then the price will definitely fluctuate more and that's nice if it's an uptrend but uh, it's also disastrous if it goes down mm. so, <clears throat> so uh, that, that was definitely a perfect answer and then we have the last one already uh, but I've seen some good things going coming in as well. Uh, last one of the prepared questions, also from Saint. Are we getting a large influx of new investors from our partnerships? And um, what about the percentage of dollars sent to other protocols and tokens instead of Grape? Because we also incentivize those pools. I don't want to spread my capital too thin in multiple LPs when I want Grape to succeed. I think we are getting, I think the, the partnerships have helped us uh, more than anything. Um, you can see, like you just look at the general chat and, and whatnot, and you can see that uh, we get a lot of new users from, from each partnership. We have uh, new members uh, seeing our protocol, uh, finding out about Grape. Um, so I think it, and it helps create new opportunities as well, like the, the Hermes pool, dual staking pool i think was pretty cool uh as an idea to earn dual rewards um same as 
same as the diamond uh, genesis staking i mean you know it's basically free money for our community to just go and stake and and gem with grape it has a little use case for grape as well um and same as the the asgard one it's you know it exposes to a lot of people that were more dow based people they didn't really even know about tomb forks so to say a lot of them yeah. so we've got a lot of people from that and and so i think it's it's been and, and as well we work with teams like uh you know good teams that uh you know we can share ideas with we can do things in the future with as well so it's you know uh, the partnerships are something that we do want to focus on um because it you know it's like any business really you you want partnerships with other businesses in the space to sort of you know to be mutually beneficial for for both communities to to cross promote to uh, deliver new, unique things to to both uh, communities so um so yeah, i mean in terms of like spreading capital too thin um i mean it's up to you where where you obviously you put your your money um uh in terms of the other like incentives for the other pools the obviously the main pools that we incentivize are only the the grape pools the grape um the the grape lps the three main lps and then the grape single stake the wham pool is obviously much less uh incentivized than the rest and then the the jewel uh hermes pool is I mean it's part it's half it's half wine anyway so it's kind of like you know I guess beneficial for us uh, in that way and in, that's in essence is also sort of wine staking for wine and then at the same time uh, eight shares staking for eight shares in a weird yeah, way yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean it's cool like you get dual rewards you know it's uh, I think it's I think it was a a cool thing to do. Um, that I haven't really seen it elsewhere. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, it's up to you where you where you put your money, obviously. But uh, in terms of what we incentivize, we incentivize mainly, obviously, the the grape side because I mean, we we don't want to just give free money away to to other people for for no mutual benefit. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Um, so that that. I would say answer that question quite well. Um, I noticed that I have in my confusion about the whole computer thing um, forgotten something. Dave, uh, would you please introduce yourself and tell the community what you're all about? Sure. Yeah, I was letting the anticipation build a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm Dave, obviously. Um, so I help with handling uh, the graphic support, um, doing the videos and things like that with you, Nikki. Yes. Um, personal background. Uh, I've been in the design industry full time for about 10 years now, a mix of uh, some travel industry stuff. And now I mostly deal in uh, consumer packaged goods. Um, so just boxes and things like that for things you buy in the store. Um, kind of stumbled into great finance after getting wrecked on a few projects and I put my last few crypto bucks into grape and I wanted to defend my last few bucks, you know? So I, <laughs> I started, you know, just throwing design stuff out there and it all just kind of steamrolled into where we're at now. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I think it's also really nice that you, you, you're, you're in keeping with the house style and making new product products that actually, uh, fit into the rest of the theme. I think that's really nice, and uh, you do you're doing an awesome job there. Yeah, if you if you watched any of the videos, um, Dave's done the the graphics, and obviously you'll see Nikki there doing the uh, the commentary, the the talking. Yeah, so yeah, they've done a great job on the videos um, so far, and Dave's done the. Uh, other graphic work like the, um, the strategy charts that we have um, so like all the all the unique stuff that we have I guess like the you know the strategy flow charts which I haven't really seen 
before um, and the videos as well. So, so, you know, great work from these two guys on those things, which are really important, I think, for, for the protocol because it's all about um, making sure everybody's on the same page. And it can be a little bit complex, a little bit, um, you know, daunting at first looking at all the, you know, all these different pools and all these different things, like what do I do and what do I do this, you know, to support the protocol. And so it's good to, you know, we really want to make sure everyone's on the same page and knows what to do. Yeah, exactly. And that is usually the case that a lot of people who actually enter these protocols, they do want to support the protocol. It's not hmm. the... That, that they don't want to or that they are malicious or anything mm. uh, some of them are of course but um, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people are actually willing to to help and are willing to do to do it well but often have no idea and i see a lot of positive feedback of, of people who say that they've learned a lot from this community and i think that's mm. awesome and i also uh, feel like a lot of people are paying it forward who are uh, actually um, taking on the things that they have learned and are explaining it to other people. And um, mm. yeah, that, that's just beautiful. And I, I really love what, what, what kind of community we're building here. Um, mm. so, so yeah, and that's also, it has to do with us, of course, but also has to do with you and it has to do with people that come here and mm. these AMAs and just everything. It's, um, it's definitely beautiful. Um, so on that, um, there is a, the collector that has asked a, a recent question and they've asked me to, uh, to read it out for them. They say, your thoughts on maintaining PEG and the action plan if we fall below it? Is there only reliance on the community and new funds to remain PEG? And then there's... I think that's another question, but I'll read it anyway. Mm. In regards to lending leverage plans on roadmap, leverage could cause cascading liquidations, which can be very destructive. And what are your thoughts around this? Yeah, they are two diff different questions. Mm -hmm. So let's split them up. Yeah. Yeah, well, in, in regards to the first one, um, to maintain the peg, I mean, what we're doing is uh, keeping the, the winery emissions tight, uh, monitoring that. Uh, so that there's not too much being emitted every day. Uh, and that's the same thing, same strategy as the, the Dow doing regular burns of its emissions uh, that it gets. Uh, and obviously the single stake pool that we've boosted so that there's actually some sort of use uh, for, for the single grape that you earn. Um, and I guess that comes into play below peg as well um, so that you... Uh, you know, instead of just selling your your grape uh, that you've earned, you can then just go and stake that grape for a reasonable daily APR um, and earn some wine from that. Um, obviously, we have the bond system, uh, which, to be honest, isn't like the best system, which is why we don't want to rely on it too much i mean you do we can obviously there's, there's a certain amount of bonds that can be traded in every epoch below peg and that you know reduces the supply of grape which then theoretically increases the price of grape to above uh, the peg which then you can trade in your bonds um, for a premium the longer you hold it above peg um, that's the general idea but we don't want to rely entirely on that so so we've added the, the single stake uh, with the reasonable APR for, you know, to prevent some selling below peg and right now as well. And I think it's done uh, just that. Um, we control the emissions using the, the raffle as well, uh, using the, the burns. And we'll be, I want to um, actually very soon, the, the lending and borrowing will be coming uh, obviously in Q2. Um, so it's a little while away, I guess, for crypto, you know, sense in, in business sense, like it's not actually that long away, but in crypto sense, uh, I guess like a month or two, um, which will add some extra use case to grape and wine to, to prevent the, the selling of that as well. Uh, but what we're probably going to do in sooner than that is, is launch a prototype of, of, uh, lending and borrowing, um, using the the sushi swap 
uh, uh, Kashi system that they have. And for that, uh, we need to implement a chain link oracle for the pair, which we're in the process of doing right now. So we implement that chain link or oracle, then we can implement a small market for lending and borrowing just to, as like a prototype uh, okay. in, the, in the meantime, uh, in the next couple of weeks before we launch an actual proper lending and borrowing system. Um, and that will add some use case to, to grape and wine as well. And you, and you say a, an oracle for the pair. So you mean the pair of grape and wine, or, or you mean the, the pair of grape mim and wine mim? Or which one do you mean? Probably first the, the grape mim pair. Yeah. Um, just an oracle that that, that specific lending uh, platform will use because the, the sushi swap uh, Kashi system needs a, a chain link oracle for that, for the pricing. Uh, which yeah. makes perfect sense. So, so we can implement a Chainlink Oracle for that. And I'm also looking at doing a Chainlink Oracle for our protocol as well. I'm pretty sure we can port over because at the moment we're using the, the standard Uniswap uh, V2 Oracle um, to, to calculate the TWAP and, and whatnot. So we can likely port that over because you know it's just we just need two functions actually three functions which we can port over to a chain link oracle to uh, just make sure that we you know 100 percent safe uh with the pricing yeah. uh, on the on the protocol itself and then uh a separate oracle for the actual pair for the lending and borrowing um so we're, we're going to trial the lending and borrowing a bit sooner really hopefully cool. Yeah, using that system, um, it would be cool to just like see, see how it goes. Uh, obviously, it's it's our lending borrowing system will have other incentives as well. So we'll you know we'll have um, uh, farming with the the collateral that you post up, and also a, a different reward token for for lenders and borrowers, uh, which we can't do in the in the sushi system, but just as an initial prototype to test the, you know, the actual lending and borrowing of the, of grape and wine uh, would be a good thing to do sooner. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and also, you know, in terms of uh, other things, obviously we're looking for other partnerships with, we're working, we're already working on other partnerships with other uh, bigger platforms, different other algo forks on the other chains as well where we can use you know, grape and wine uh, for certain things maybe new pairs uh, new pools which can add more i guess reduce the selling pressure on on grape and make some sort of uh, additional use case uh, to help uh, support that price as well so i mean that's kind of like our overarching strategy is to to control the supply number one um to to slow down the that emission rate and to add uh, use cases numerous different use cases to grape and wine so that primarily to grape uh to then reduce the selling pressure obviously to because otherwise in just a normal algo you the, the only thing that you can do with the the peg token is basically just sell it yeah. Uh, so obviously, you know, if you, if the only thing you can do is sell it, well, then it's going to be hard to maintain that that peg price. Um, so that's why we want to add numerous different use cases to it that are beneficial to the person. Yeah. So in, the, in the end, if, if if grape has all of the use cases, then wine has the primary use case of get, getting someone great. So that has an automatic yeah, exactly. use case whereas so that's um, the idea right that's yeah, yeah we, we want to um focus first on grape because you know you know a strong grape is a, a strong wine um yeah. so that's the idea really yeah definitely oh and, then and there uh, was... oh, yeah I'm sorry. That other question yeah. um the the leveraging cascading exactly. liquidations yeah definitely that was what, what i was getting at but you already have it Something, yeah, something we definitely want to protect people from. Um, so the any sort of leverage or, you know, borrowing uh, amount that you'll 
be allowed to borrow on on grape and wine will be lower than say you know pretty much every other coin um that would be available say like you know right to bitcoin or 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 avax and whatnot even though they're pretty volatile as well the you know grape and wine would be more volatile uh, because we are much smaller than them we have much less liquidity so that's going to lead to more volatility so we do so the amount that you'd be able to borrow the amount that you'd be able to leverage would be much less uh than those other coins and as well we'll add um looking into other things like how we can completely remove the ability um, completely remove the possibility of liquidations as well uh, through the use of uh, farming strategies using your collateral so that the the collateral is slowly paid off without you having to do anything. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a nice user feature as well uh, to not have to just continually you know worry about the price uh, at, the, at the current point knowing that you have a loan on that amount. Uh, you can just let it sit knowing that it's going to be safe because first of all, you borrowed a small amount in terms of the amount of collateral that you put up. And then secondly, that you, that, that collateral is actually being used to earn yield, which is then being used to pay back that loan anyway. Um, so yeah, that's another, another thing we'll be so doing. So then instead of liquidations, you will just have a situation where you would um, not have your uh, collateral for a longer time. At least not mm. getting it back, right? Yeah, Just some, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um, that was beautifully answered. And uh, since there are no further questions on common, that uh, seems to be a very very short AMA. Um, unless uh, there's anything about the future you still want to say or. Um, yours. I guess I just want to, I guess, tease a little bit on the, because the NFTs, uh, the art's all done. I've just been uh, working on the, I guess, the numbers behind the scenes. Um, yeah, I guess the, the current question, HFT, NFT. NFT, yeah. The, yeah, the, the art's all done. So I've been, because what, because the, the original plan was to have it as a, as a, separate nft for numerous other benefits like a vip card which it will still be but uh looking at also doing uh grape nodes as nfts as well and so we're going to tie that in with this current nft launch um so that uh, we can have some sort of extra use case for grape as well uh, with a, a grape node, so to say, but also have it as a somewhat investment fund for node holders and NFT holders um, to invest in other protocols, to invest in our protocol so that we can build a treasury behind that as well, uh, which can be used to, you know, obviously support the protocol um to you know work with other protocols to support their protocol as well um so so i've been working on kind of the numbers behind that and how we yeah how we um calculate uh the the strategies behind that so to say uh, in terms of what the you know for each node how much would go to this? How much would go to supporting uh, the great pools? How much would we going to to a, a treasury backing and whatnot? So that is what's going to be happening with the NFTs. We're going to be releasing, we're going to be writing a full article and some more details on that very soon. Um, it's going to be more than, than just an NFT now, so to say. Yeah. Most definitely, uh, there's some real alpha you're spinning here. Yeah, so that's <laughs> that's why there's been a little bit of delay because yeah. we've, um, I mean, the art is done, so that's like kind of the main thing, really. But uh, in terms of the what it's going to be doing, it's going to be doing a lot more now. So that's why we've um, 
I haven't released many details yet because we're going to sort of merge it in together with the, with the node system. But I want to make sure that that's thought through extremely well before we uh, you know, announce that, so to say. Yeah, I can definitely imagine that. And that's for uh, a lot of the community members who are just into Tomb Fork. Uh, it will be a lot of research as well because the nodes are just a whole different area of DeFi. Uh, it's also yeah. a beautiful one. And I think uh, mm. they are beautiful use cases. Um, but um, it, it, will, um, it will require some looking into for a lot of people. So now that you've heard this on the AMA, you have some time. And <laughs> please don't hesitate to ask questions for, for the next one or, um, uh, or uh, to other members of the community who have a lot of knowledge about it or might have mm. a lot of knowledge. Let's hope so. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of people in the, in the uh, community that have you know, been, in, been in nodes, been in DAOs, been in um, pretty much everything else. So, <laughs> you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, inform- people that know a lot of things in the in the in our community that you can lean on to uh ask any questions you have most definitely um oh there it is there was someone typing uh, that's the collector and he's done now so i'm just going to read it um i have another question for the passive income investor what would be the best strategy to take profits daily we either have to sell grape or wine and compound a portion but either way one of the tokens will need to take sell pressure it looks like wine is taking this hit at the moment yeah, yeah. um that's the zone two thing i would say <laughs> yeah i mean if i could hop in i guess i think if you were like you needed to take anything in the zone um, you probably look at like pin racking or something like that, yeah. which is, I can make a chart for that, but you basically, you only take like 10%. Um, but really we're trying to compound in this, in this zone. Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that, that was the whole thing, um, that we, we have been taking a careful profits in zone one. So above 2.0 T walk. Um, and now we, uh, we're in zone two and we're actually on low prices, I would say. We're at base support level um, uh, with wine. We are still healthy with grape at 130 uh, or 135. Last time I checked, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, these aren't really the moments to be taking profit at right now um so might as well just compound and um and actually borrow when that's available uh but for the short term um it's not super healthy for the protocol to be taking some profits i mean if you need to you need to if you need to sell you just need to sell but um if you're investing now uh look for the longer term i would say Do you guys have anything mm-hmm. to add to that? Yeah, I mean that's kind of like the the strategy. The main strategy right now is to to compound across the pools. You can single stake uh, the grape that you earn, turn more wine to then just uh, earn more grape essentially. Um, and so that's as well. I'm going to be bringing out these this node system as well pretty soon, which will have investments from other protocols as well, uh, which will give some sort of daily passive income uh, for people that doesn't hurt each protocol uh, at that point in time. So, so we, yeah, we're bringing out other things anyway, which will give you a daily passive yield uh, if you really want. So, so the short yeah, of it, if you really want that. it's coming. It's coming. It's not there yet, but it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. That does um, sum it up then. Uh, thank you for the alpha and, and, and thank you guys for being here. Um, everyone who was there and of course this will be on YouTube again. And um, next week it will probably just be Thursday again. So um, if you've got any questions because of this, feel free to ask them. Um, yeah. Thanks that, everyone so. for joining. And your questions, thanks for your questions. Thanks for listening. Um, 
yeah, you have any other questions, obviously just put them in the uh, either ask in the general chat uh, if they're just you know basic stuff that can be answered pretty quickly, or if they're sort of more questions you know for the future, I guess you can uh, put them in the next AMA chat, which will be put up soon. Definitely. All right then. Thanks everyone. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye.